I'm absolutely inspired. I always look for passion and she has it in everything she does and I would like to think so do I. So together there's just a synergy buzzing around us. They go hand in hand. If I bring the music, she'll bring the dance. I just love art in general, but then like seeing it in real life in front of your face and somebody else that loves it and love what they do and they're so excited to share it. It's like, there's nothing better than that. There's nothing better. My name is Clara and I go by Clara C. I am a singer-songwriter musician. I knew I was interested in music when I watched The Sound of Music at like age six or so. And I immediately just marched downstairs, picked up my $50 little Casio keyboard and played all the songs uh, immediately after watching. I, I knew music was my love. My name is Jillian Myers and I am a dancer extraordinaire. <laughs> I started dance because my best friend at the time, her and her mom just stopped by and said, hey, you want to come sign up for a dance class? Sure. And we were there, so we went. And from that point on, you know, it started as one class a week, then escalated to many days a week and doing everything and teams and competing. But my first memories are in the studio. My style of music is a little tougher for me to define because I'm always bouncing around from one thing to the next. My style of dance is a culmination of experiences and ultimately all of my training, which it started in jazz and then ballet and tap and hip hop and lyrical and all of the, all of the above. Uh, so it usually comes out as some sort of weird knot of those things. I started on the piano and went to flute, learned drums, guitar. Guitar just translates over to like bass, and then piano translates over to glockenspiel, xylophone, and I just picked up the trumpet, which I'm having a lot of fun with. When I first started dancing and taking class, there was never really a question for me about, oh, do I want to dance or do I need to dance? Like, it wasn't even a conscious thought. I had to dance. Like, I just knew I was going to be there. I was going to be in class. I, I had to. I had to be there. I had to do it. When I was younger, you, you know, like, music was this unattainable goal. Like, when you ask a little girl what she wants to be, when she grows up and she's like, a princess, and, and it's just not possible. But, uh, I mean, it happened and I'm a princess. <laughs> Thinking that Claire is a very heart-centered artist makes me so excited to work with her because I think that is how we are alike. That what she writes about, what she sings about, is personal to her. And that's what dance is for me, especially anything that I create is personal. It's very personal. So I'm really excited about coming together. You know, I like to dance, but I'm no professional dancer. So to see somebody who's got that capacity, uh, I think I might cry. <laughs> just to see the two art forms combined. Hi! Hi! You would be the magnificent Jillian. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi! I just got to meet Clara C. Live in the flesh. Here, sing, laugh, giggle, we laughed a lot. Yeah, she's the best. So the song is called Offbeat, and I've remixed it a bit. Uh -huh. It's very different from the original. The original is very like happy-go-lucky. Right. Um, but I, I've changed the beat, I've like added synths, and we almost immediately started going. You know, it's a quick introduction, but then we just already jumped into going. She sat down at the keyboard and played. That synth sound? Fat one. A fat one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Immediately, like, her body just started moving and in a way that's very fitting and almost perfect with the way the song is. She gets it. She just gets it. Uh, to the verse. Maybe you could start dancing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a library 
full of our stories, a ship to keep our memories afloat. Yeah, I wanna hit rewind. I love being able to hear the song like that, and also that inspired a, a different way of thinking about it, and just. We need a climax to the of song, course. you know? Yeah. So at the end, like, I'll, I'll probably belt, like, I'll be down, you'll be my offbeat. And then what happened next was we just started jamming off of ideas, and we pretty much brainstormed the entire thing. OK, one thing that is immediately important for me, too, I think, in establishing, uh, like, this equal shared experience, demonstrating that we are an, we are connected in some way, or shape, or form. I think it's important. So we could like interact yeah. while you dance. Yes, that would be really cool. Yeah, because yeah. I think like that's that's why we're here. Like that's right. what's so special about this. Like we're not separate, uh -huh. but maybe you're narrating. Right. You're narrating this moment, but uh -huh. we're in it together. Yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what about this? Or like, what if we tried that? And uh, a really easy exchange of ideas that was. So nice. Uh, she was so open to anything I had to say, which was something I was a little nervous about. Recently, music started turning into work and um, not as fun and lighthearted as it was. I write alone, I, you know, I do everything alone, and that's the beauty and curse of being indie. Uh, and I realized that I didn't have like a team. Hitting a three month block makes you wonder like, maybe I'm out of juice, like maybe I'm done. It's funny to me the struggle you can have as an artist where you could feel completely blocked and have no ideas or you have so many you don't even know how to choose, you know, and I feel like that is me a lot of the time. Just overwhelmed by the choices. It's hard for me sometimes. We're two artists, so we groove off of each other. So it's cool to know that we're on the same wavelength because it's in my head. How did she tap into that? I love what comes from the melding of ideas and how one person's idea and the other person's idea, you know, can come together to create something that neither of us would have necessarily seen. Okay, what if like mm -hmm. we're we're sharing a space that's very like casual? Yeah. So maybe I'm sitting at a table, and maybe that maybe there's a phone, mm -hmm. uh, like because you said it kind of sounds like a space age phone, yeah, it right? Does, it does. I'm a firm believer that the best art is something that's personal, even if it's not necessarily a personal experience, but it's personally relevant to you. What's neat about what happened with me and Jillian is that we have this, you know, this work of art that we're both working off of, but it means different things to us. I think it's so cool that art can just chameleon itself into whoever's looking at it. Having uh, the live human voice, the live like raw emotion now on both of our ends coming together. It's just, it's, uh, it's a very special space when you, when those two worlds kind of open up and then we meet and we're sharing it. And it takes what we, what I could have created being two dimensional and it makes it three dimensional. Like it really brings it to life like a pop-up storybook. I hope viewers don't think, I just hope that they feel. And you'll just have all sorts of flavors in there. It'll be a buffet of emotion. <laughs> I think my only concern is like, oh, it has to be really great. Um, just because I think we're both capable of that. I definitely needed this to shake me out of routine, especially because Offbeat was the single off of the, the first album. And so I've played it a lot of times. And it's kind of like, uh, seeing a different side of a person you knew for a long time. It's been refreshing. A ship to keep our memories afloat I wanna hit rewind Play back a hundred times The moment when our hearts
What just happened was magic. <laughs> what happened was a converging of art styles and emotion, and I'm still having like a rush from it. I think that it's vital for an artist to challenge themselves. I definitely overcame some hurdles. There's nothing more boring than having no conflict in your life. It expanded my horizons. I feel like challenge is what enables you to go places that maybe you didn't think you could or experience things, create things that otherwise maybe you would have shut yourself off from. It just feels so good to release something that you've been building and building and building and then now here it was, it's the day and then Okay, you just had to like let it go, like make a wish and just let it fall, all the pieces hopefully into place.